Dear Baby Hamlo. Dear Baby Hamlo. Dear Baby Hamlo. Hello, baby. Hi, Baby Hamlo. Dear Baby Hamlo. Hey, Baby Hamlo. Hi, Baby Hamlo. Hey, Hannah. A quick hi from Italy. Okay, hi. Hannah Hammond from New Hampshire. Hi. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. So I was asked if there were any times that I spent with your mummy that she might not want me to share with you. And the answer to that question is there are way too many to tell you about. But there was one particular mm -hmm. night after showcase that I'm pretty sure yeah. she wouldn't want me to tell you about. Yeah. Um, so Hannah, congratulations. Um, as you can see, this is your life. So I am supposed to tell you things about your mother and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, duh. Um, don't ever sing karaoke with your mom because you're not going to want to sing after that. Did you know that your mom can make pretty much any activity more fun? Even having to review a uh, very fussy, pretentious Shakespeare masterclass video series, she can make it more entertaining for you, for her, for everyone around. Uh, she can also make doing a take-home exam with your very competitive classmates more fun. Uh, and she can even make you believe that you can do things you don't think you can do, like choreographing a uh, woodland flower and fairy dance in a early 20th century uh, musical operetta thing and she'll forgive you for getting the uh, classification of the woodland princess wrong when it was a part of her graduate thesis we wanted to say hello from the anti-rippers all four of us and welcome you to this great world that we're living in and i wanted to tell you a little bit about your your mom when she was little and i've been going through things and i found this and it says next to the lady with the big skirt and Jeannie is the prettiest. So there you go. She's always been smart about stuff like that. Then I found a letter from your mom when she was about nine that says for Halloween, I'm going to be Anita from West Side Story and my best friend Cassie is going to be Maria. So from an early age, she knew what she wanted and she went for it. And we hope you'll do that too. Do you know how long I have known your mother? I have known her long enough to have held on to this little item here for 20 years. Uh, Hannah, you made this for me, I think, the night before I left to go to Hawaii uh, when I was 17. And I'm trying to open it now. And inside, beyond there being a bunch of glitter or, or confetti that is still in there is a photo of us uh, and I brought that all the way down to Argentina with me just for fun I had a great idea that I was gonna do hey it's me Captain McCrazy your mom knows what I'm talking about but I can't because my voice is shot as you can clearly hear I swear I'm a great singer in here somewhere it's just not with us at the moment. It's very sad. I'm devastated. Um, just wanted to send a video and say congratulations on the baby. And you too, Robbie. Sorry, I didn't include you, but you know. It's my dear sweet friend, Cukes, you know. You are still currently a little tiny parasite, like a little alien living inside your mom. In all honesty, you'll be feeding off her until you're at least 18. So you're a parasite until you turn 18. All right. Hi, Robbie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to say congratulations. I'm very, very happy for you. How long ago we were together in Scotland and now you're going to be a mom. That's absolutely amazing. Hi, this is your Aunt Mary Ellen. I'm coming to you from the North Carolina Smokies and wishing I could be there. Um, I want to show you a picture that I took of your mom at Christmas in 1987. I think it was during a sleigh ride. You may notice that she's a little blurry around the edges, 
Well, that's because that's what she was really like. She was almost always in motion, full of energy um, and vibrating all the time. It's my favorite photo of her. Hi, Hannah. This is Anna, and I think I'm doing this video right. I guess we'll see. You know how great I am with cell phones and everything. Hey, at least I don't still have a three, an iPhone three, right? <laughs> if I did, I couldn't be doing this. Just wanted to get on here and say congratulations. I'm so excited for y'all, and I know y'all are gonna be the best parents ever, like in the whole entire world. Kind of jealous, wish you were my parents. <laughs> You're going to be amazing parents, both of you, and just take every day in strides. It's a little tough at the beginning, but you'll get it. Right now, you're like the size of a piece of fruit. Did you know that your mom was the first person that I ever talked to from our class? And when I say talk to, I meant an email, because that's what we had in those days, email. It was the best we had, and that was like cutting edge technology, okay? I don't think you're gonna be able to understand that. But that was like the ultimate form of communication. It was before Facebook. Maybe we had some MySpace in there. You're not gonna know what that is either, that's okay. It's Scott Garland Scott. Just wanted to say, um, wow, amazing, congratulations. You're gonna have a lovely little baby. Uh, me too. I've got one coming very, very soon. Um, RSMD babies, who'd have thought? It's amazing. Your mom is awesome and she's a badass. Badass warrior princess. Do not forget that. Don't make her angry because she will take you down. She'll do it. Anyway, I just wanted to send a quick video and say hi to you and congratulations on the baby. I'm so excited and so happy and so proud. And uh, I hope everything goes um, just as you wish. I know it will. And um, have, a, have a great time uh, at the shower. I wish I could be there, uh, but I'm sending this video with a whole lot of love and uh, I miss you. This is Aunt Anne from South Carolina. I'm a midwife and I know your mom has been going to doctor visits for months and you have been getting poked and prodded and listened to. Um, so I want you to just keep on growing these last three months and um, keep on kicking and keep your head down and uh, be sure to have fun. Once you come out, have a lot, fall in love with your mom's breasts and the milk and you'll grow like crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, your dad gets mad at you, just quote Star Wars. That seems right, Robbie, right? I don't know. Or just impress him with like your really cool pull up or chin up or exercise thingy. Um, thrilled for the arrival of baby cukes. I can't wait until they are of age so that we can all go drinking in Glasgow green. Um, <laughs> uh, I wish that things were a little lighter, that I could come and visit and see you during this time. Um, but hopefully as life returns to some semblance of normal, we'll be able to cross paths again. Um, and I'm so excited for this journey for you. Look at how unclean my car is. Can you see how absolutely disgusting it is with snacks and stuff? Pizza fries are life. Always eat the pizza fries. Um, very proud of all that you've done, all you've achieved. Uh, I watch all your successes on social media and I hope I get to see you uh, in person for a big, big hug. And uh, yes, I'm in Italy and I'm very happy to be here because after this long pandemic and being without a job, it, it has been really, really tiring. But now back on stage. Well, hello from your Aunt Barbara in Crested Butte, Colorado, the Ripper from Colorado. I am showing you a picture of your mom when she was about three months old and she was always an exploring and awake person. Um, and she was like the ever ready bunny that was always wondering what was behind that door or in the cupboard or around the corner or under the couch and very, very energetic. And I am guessing that you will be the very same way and wishing you the best entrance to this world. 
I'm excited to meet you. We can't wait to meet you. <laughs> this one's scared of She's you. very excited to meet you, as you can see by her face. This is her excited face. She can't wait to have another little cousin to hang out with. And we just want you to know that if you go through a phase where you hate Broadway and or Star Wars, we will take you in. We have extra bedrooms. We'll be happy to have you until your parents will look at you again. There are some requirements if that happens. You must A, know how to swim, B, change a bike tire, C, be proficient at kayaking, <laughs> And D, not mandatory, but it'd be nice if you knew Mandarin. <laughs> I'm outside. You hear birds. Birds. That's a door. That's not a bird. There are no birds for you to see. But take my word. Currently in the lifetime that we're living in, there are birds. Years from now, I don't know if they will be birds. We could be living in some kind of crazy moon. Europa. That would be awesome, living on Europa. I'd be okay with that. Science is cool. Uh, and then the other item that reminds me of your mother and father, dear baby Hamlo, is the wedding gift that they gave me for attending their ceremony. Uh, how long ago was that? When did you guys get married? 2014, so you do the math. Uh, so both of these items uh, live with me here in Argentina. Um, so uh, whether I want to or not, I can't really forget about you. Um, so I am sorry that I can't be there to celebrate with all three of you on your big day, but uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna be seeing you very, very soon. My second thing that I wanna share with you about your mom was a time when she and I and a Daniel Curtis Moser mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. went to London. Okay, we didn't know what we were doing. We went there, we had nowhere to go. <laughs> I think it was for an audition, right? Was it Lord of the Rings, Mom? I think it was Lord of the Rings. And we had nowhere to stay. We were lost. We were little lambs lost in the wood. And we were terrified <laughs> because the sun was beginning to go down lower in the sky. And we still didn't have anywhere to stay. And we were but young kids. Oh, that's the dog. And finally we found a place and we were so excited because we could afford it. And we, they had space for us. <laughs> Who knows where it was, East London somewhere, I don't know. Um, be weird because your parents are kind of weird in a good way. I love you both. Uh, if you're normal, that's just not gonna fit. You can't be normal, so don't. Find something you love to do in life and do it. No matter if you make money or not, just do it. Who cares? Just, you know, it's fine. Um, I, I miss you a lot. I wish I could get to New York and see you. That would be awesome. When I see you, you're going to have this tiny human to take care of. That's going to be weird. Um, yeah. All right, what else am I supposed to tell you? Be nerdy. That's gonna go over really well. Yeah, be weird but nerdy, you can do that. Just, you know, you've got great examples. They're wonderful humans. So if you grow up like them, you're gonna be a wonderful human. Just wanted to congratulate y'all and I wish y'all nothing but the best. Parenting is definitely not the easiest thing, but it's doable. Uh, definitely don't have a handbook. Uh, you just pretty much wing it. Um, I literally didn't have time to record this video at any other point in my day because of this one. So, um, look forward to your life. It's going to be awesome. Look at that face though. Amazing. Are you giving her a big smile? Say congratulations. Can you... She's too shy. So have a lovely baby shower. Sorry we can't all be there. She only talks. She doesn't sing. Basically, baby Hamlo, your mom is magical and you are really, really, really lucky to have her uh, bringing you to life, guiding you through life. Uh, I would say I'm jealous, but I'm also really lucky because I have had Hannah helping guide me through life ever since she came into my life. Be all around, you know, be awesome to each other. 
So take, you know, the wise wisdom of Bill and Ted and just be awesome to each other. And for the new baby that's coming your way, um, baby, you got a great mom and she is so kind and loving and she's gonna treat you so good. So all the best to you guys. I wish I was there in person. I sent a little something. I hope you get it in the mail in time. Okay, this movie's getting really long. This movie, yes, this film, this art film that I am creating here, three minutes and 23 seconds. It says, okay, enough is enough. Also, I need to call you. I should do that today after I make this video and tell you how awkward your video is gonna be for me. So I'll give you a heads up. In all reality though, congrats guys. We hope to see you guys soon and can't wait to see the little ones play together. We love you guys. So I wish you all the best with your new baby boy, baby girl. We don't know, but I'm sure uh, I will find out, uh, find out at some point. But once again, congratulations. I love y'all and hopefully I can see y'all soon. We can't wait to meet you, baby Farlow. Can't wait. We love you. Congratulations. Bye. Bye. Uh, lots of love and see you very soon. Love you. Love mom. Love daddy Robbie. Miss you guys. Can't wait to see you soon. And congratulations on your life, baby Hamlo. I love you. I miss you. I hope you all are doing well. Congratulations. Take care and uh, be happy and I'm sure we'll talk soon. Love you lots. Um, take good care. Baby Hamlow, you're gonna be great. Can't wait to meet you. Love you so much, Hannah. And uh, again, congratulations. Wow. Go, 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 Anna. Bye bye. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Hi, baby Hamlo. Didn't see you sitting there so small and quiet. Probably won't be like that for long. I just want to sing you a little song. <clears throat> the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Say my kisses. Mm.